Hello again guys, what's going on? Dranathor here, and we have the final part of my Forbidden Memories Let's Play. So to show you where to go, leave the shop, move up, go there. As you guys might notice, I'm not actually playing this time. Things are happening, my hands are here. I decided to record it, and then try and get the face cam over the top. If I had time, I just wanted to get the part out there to show you that I had finished it. And also, this is the third attempt that I had. The first attempt, I just got nothing, just got destroyed. The second attempt, I screwed up really badly. Might show it. Might not. These are the first two guys you have to face. Sedek and Neku. I'm just going to move the thing over. So. Currently watching while playing to know what to speak about. Whew. He says prepare to lose, he gets decimated. I think. Would be wrong. The most powerful thing that this guy can play is a Metal Zoa, which is 3000. Or he plays a Normal Zoa, which gets boosted by Yami at the 3100. I start. Yeah, there you go. So this is a win. This is the first guy of the final six. The first two that you've seen already, Sebek and Neku. They're the easiest. If you lose against them, you're having a problem. You're not going to be. You might see me do this a couple times, I sort of change my mind things. What I wanted to do was to get rid of all the cards and try and get better ones. But if you S or PayPal this guy, there's a chance that he dropped the Metal Zoa. Right there. 3000, 2300 I think it is. Uh, that gets boosted by the Dark Entities and the Bright Castle that I have. Also gets boosted by the Mega Wolf, that I don't have. Because it didn't get one. After 40 S techs. Flash A techs. They fall to about 35, I think. Didn't get an MBD either. So I beat this game. And that's powerful card is Skull Knight. It is possible. It is possible. Rule number one is finished. I can't remember what I get. Immortal of Thunder, which is another Thunder to go with the like six, five, six, maybe that I have. Curse me, because I beat him. And he dies. I don't know why he dies. This guy, second guy, Neku. Most powerful thing he can play is Skull Knight, the same as me. They both got boosted for about 3150. It's like a quick preview of the deck. I was going to show the deck, I completely forgot. Unless I show it at some different point. I think no, that was the second time when I screwed up. Once again, I get the Dark Magician. It might not be powerful enough on its own. I'm just sort of here trying to figure out a way to get rid of four cards in my hand. Realising that unless I use the Dark Magician, it's impossible. Just get rid of the three. Keep the Thunder just in case I get another dragon. Right you never know. Twin Headed might be enough. I think he plays Skull Knight. Maybe. Go on. And there we go. Uh, the only way that he could beat me now is what he does is he fuses two Yamis to make a Dark Energy. I only have one Yami, so I can't do that. That's a second though, so he's probably not likely to play a third. Oh, if you guys haven't noticed, you probably have by now if you've looked at the face camera in society. I'm in a different house. I moved everything. This bit, right? Thunder Dragon, Dark Energy. No. Nope. Sort of stand here. Well, stay here in disbelief for a couple of seconds. And then I think, oh, I can still win. I use Dark Magician. Really? I have to wait another turn to beat this guy. Because if I had attacked the Skull Knight, the Dark Magician, the Thunder Dragon, it would have been 3600 and I would have 200 left. Actually, he would have been dead. I don't want to that. was stupid, basically. But I win this turn. Killing him with a Cursor Dragon. I think. Let's use the Dark Magician. I like the second. 
Hey. <laughs> so this is Neku defeated. I don't think I get anything to do that far. What is it? 1800 on its own. Ah, as I was saying. I have successfully moved house. Um, you might see her if she moves. There's currently a cat over there. A kitten. That my roommate. Not really roommate. Because it's a house. It's his house. I'm not going to say his name. It's his cat. He's had for a while. Not really much else I can say on that matter. His computer is also just over there. Now moving on to this actual game. Skull Knight in Neptune could be MPD. I think I'm silly and play him. Right? Yeah. I don't think he plays MPD anyway. I think he plays Kate Garden. But you notice there that I threw away all the cards just to try and get the equips. Because without equips, there's no way I'm beating that guy. I think this becomes quite like a nail biting door. Unless. I don't think it does. I didn't want to play the Raigeki right there because I didn't have the equips. The Acid Trap Bomb is going to be I should probably keep one because Acid Trap Bomb Dark Energy makes. So I'm deciding whether to throw away the dragons or just the Raigeki. Probably the best. Otherwise, I can play something big on the next turn, put me down low, and then. Yeah. I thought that was going to be a blue eyes. So, the Dark Magician is just a little bit weaker. It still stands up for the blue eyes, though. It doesn't really make much of a difference. 150 still doesn't stop me from getting beaten by a meat and black dragon. I don't know why I did that. I guess it's more because the Skull Knight could be played into Neptune in case he plays the MBD. But he's got past his book cards now. So this is this door done and dusted. The two are quick just in case. So if he does play a Gate Guardian, not only does it get widespread ruined, really. Zzz. Don't know if you heard that. It gets destroyed by widespread ruin. I still have a Skull Knight that has 41 to 50 that can beat it. I need a 4150 next game. Because this guy that I'm just about to come up against. What did I get? White Magical Hat. I got that. Three times that I managed to like get this far. That face though. And to relax a little just while there's a long cutscene. Yeah, the next guy that you fight, or duel, shall I say, is set up for the third time. Time to end his farce. You will now defeat me once and for all. But don't look surprised. I really don't look surprised. The amount of times I've played this game, even the first time I played for this, I was like, that was obvious. But yeah, basically, I was his horn, I think he calls me, to gather the many lines for him. There you go. So he could get them together. Because he's a noble or something like that. It doesn't really doesn't make sense. But this guy basically turns on you. And he has Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Which has 4,500 attack. Which is why I needed the Mega Morph. Because you get the Skull Knight. You want to equip and a Mega Morph and it becomes 4150. And then you can beat it because Mercury, I think it is, gets the boost over Sun. However, I don't have Mega Morph. I don't have MBD. The way that I beat this guy is very fun. Or do I actually beat him? Yeah, 
Uh, he's talking about how he wants to sacrifice the millennium items, renew the pact, get power over everyone. The final battle begins. The items will be his. Even though you can only get one millennium item at a time, so he'd have to beat me six times in a row, which is easy because he plays Blue Eyes Armor. However, get wrecked. This hand. I had to stop for a second just to look at it and be like, Dang! So there's a 4150 with Mercury. Probably doesn't run Geki me, which it doesn't, because I play the card face up. There's a sun. Now, I thought it was a blue eyes on that. And I was like, ready to see me kill the oh. It's not an armor, it's just a normal blue eyes. Which a normal skull knight without equips can beat. I would say disc music though. You're not gonna hear it for much longer. Because I have a widespread ruin down. So even if you play something big enough, it just automatically gets destroyed. He doesn't play just a normal blue eyes. I tried to find a way to kill him with the Yamatano. But it's just too hard. The easiest duel of my life. And I hoped he drops blue eyes. However, I got a soul hunter. This is a 2200... 1800 defense, I think? It's a fiend. So I could boost it up with like dark energy, bright cast and things. But it's moon and sun beats moon. And the next two guys that you fight. I didn't destroy them? It doesn't matter what one you pick at that point. But now he has a knife. And he's realised that, instead of trying to duel me to kill me, he should just stab me. Instead of stabbing me, and stealing the items, he threatens to kill Seto if I don't give him the items. I'm sorry if you can hear the siren. We do live next to a fire station, and an ambulance station. The only thing we don't live next to is a police station, because it's on the next road down. Sirens become a main thing, and I blank them out. Now this guy summons Dark Knight. Who's supposed to be the ultimate evil. Come to me, darkness. Grant me the power. Grant me the world! What's up? to get this guy to obey him. Obviously he's like, I don't know how old this guy is, I think he's like a thousand years old or whatever, he's like this old god, basically. And Haishin, this tiny little man with a massive chin, tries to get him to obey. He's like, but I have all the Millennium Items! I mean, he doesn't, but he just destroyed them all in order to summon this guy. You must honor the pact. You must obey me. How about... No. He's a card. Help me! He's a noisy card. And an ugly one too. I do agree with you, Dark Knight. That's the story of why Haishin died. Never tell a god to obey. Still contains the Millennium Card. Not the point I have six of them. But it's the card I use to get back to my own life. How does Seto know? I travel forward in time? to then travel back in time. And you can see he's clearly holding like, multiple amounts of cards. We still hold one card that represents our power you. you have six! 
and this guy's like, okay, fine, fool me. If you win, I'll go home. If I win, I steal your soul. Sounds like a fair deal, right? Show your soul. 1800. Did I say 1800? I'm pretty sure I said 1800. I think it's Moon and Jupiter. Relatively good start. This guy doesn't play too much over 3000. The only thing over 3000 that he plays is Mutual Black Dragon. I think he plays Black Skull, but I'm not sure. So I didn't really want to use the equip just in case he plays Mutual Black Dragon. I felt like doing 2500. And if he plays Blue Eyes, I can uh, run even with it. It's Black Skull. It's great. So I want him at this point to play the Blue Eyes, which he does. So I buff this guy. What I do is quite smart here. I put it in Neptune in case he plays MBD. Forgetting that he also plays Cosmo Queen, which is Venus, which gains attack against Mercury. As we've shown now. I played Skull Knight. He would have played Skull Knight instead. Wouldn't have been able to beat it this turn. It might have even led to me losing. So an accidental smart move by me. But then 20 minutes I'm dragging into me. I forgot about that. Yeah. Dark Knight. Down. But it's a winged beast. The only thing, the strongest winged beast you can get is Crimson Sunbow. Now this guy throws a hissy fit. I cannot lose. Hey. Come boy, one more time, one more game. I imagine that's how he sounds. I might be completely wrong. 20,000, 20,000? Jesus, I put that card like instantly in. 2,900. Now this is where I start to panic. Because if he plays a blue eyes ultimate, I have no equips on. And this guy play this guy has no traps and no spells. He just plays monsters and attacks over and over. Luckily he only plays a gate guardian. I don't think I can see. <sighs> and one equip. Which makes it 3150. I need three equips in order to be able to do this. So I'm gonna try the la la la. Hopefully he plays. If he plays something in attack mode, I have to write Gethy. Unless I get both equips from these draws, I have to write Gethy. Hopefully. I either draw Dragon or another equip where he doesn't play something over 3,000. That was right. I should be okay. Should be okay. So now I messed up. I basically was at this point last time, and I messed up and thought that one would make twin head of thunder. Put the equip on it, realized that it was a 2100, and I lost. So I should have completed this last one, but it was stupid. Hopefully he doesn't play Black Skull or anything like that. That's what we're trying to do. And my plan here is to put this equip on, so he goes to 3650, and then next turn play Yami, so if he does randomly put in Trihorn, that's my favourite card, by the way, Trihorn Dragon, of like, this game. I don't know why, I used to love Trihorn Dragon. So now, okay, he didn't play his Blue Eyes Ultimate, so I can play the Yami, which put me up to 4150. Does play as Blue Eyes Ultimate. Still one. Needs to be careful because of my life points. Yeah, I'm quite low. Can I hit it Perhaps. And Mercury. Should win next turn. Because even if he plays Blue Eyes Ultimate. I'll gain 500 attack here and it'll be 952 and BD. Which 
650 to 3050. So you'd have 55 plus Play something weak. Defense mode. I'll be stupid. Because if I play the Dark Magician and he gets ult on the dragon, I lose. Ooh! That's it, boys! We have one. One hundred thunder dragon. Dark magician. Dark magic attack. <sighs> and a beast king of the swamps for my final card. No, not again. I'm not. There we have it. I'm just going to sit back and let the final cutscene play out. That day, Seto left the ruins, never to be seen again. Egypt was unified once again under the rule of Jura to protect mankind ordered that the millennium, the forbidden ruins, would be buried. Jira became the greatest of pharaohs, bringing prosperity to all he ruled. The vile mages were no more. This was the tale of Jira. He whom we call Yu-Gi-Oh. Save. And this is me deciding whether to cut it here or not. I probably won't. I'll just let the credits roll on to this one. It's a secret number that you use in Doorless to the Roses, which is the next game in the series. Which unfortunately, I probably won't be able to let's play because I don't have recording software for my PS2. And there we have it. That was Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. It was a... Uh, tough. Even though there were only ten parts. There was a lot of background rules. I do apologise. I am very sorry that this wasn't up last week. But that was the only day that I could move house. As you can see, I'm in now. Everything's sorted. My computer is connected. And I've got everything working again. I don't know when I will be doing a, another Let's Play. My plan is to hopefully do a blind let's play of Geb Fire Emblem. However, because I now live with another friend who's just pretty much the same age as me, we both work relatively the same days, so it's difficult to get chances like this to be able to record without him in the background. You never know, I might do it as a sort of second thing and have him there if he doesn't mind talking, or me talking to myself. I don't know. But hopefully my plan is to do a blind let's play of the Geb Fire Emblem. If not, I'll upload a video shortly before the let's play starts and have everything uh, ready. But just as the credits are rolling, I'd just like to, you know, say thank you to everyone who has stuck along. Anyone who viewed this part, if it's just this part, that's fine. If you viewed the entire let's play all the way through, that's fine. If you viewed this final part and you thought, who's this idiot talking to himself playing a Yu-Gi-Oh game? That's fine. I appreciate any amount of views, any viewing time, even if you look at the video and go, hmm. Okay. That's fine. Some of the sort of wireframes are really in depth, even though this is a PS1 game. This is a PS1 game. I have played this on an emulator. I have played this game so many times, as you could probably tell the way that I was playing through it. I do know what I'm doing. I said I'd speedrun this game. Maybe I might upload a speedrun of maybe the 
for a tournament, or maybe a full game run in like little segments. The full game runs can take three, maybe four hours of just playing through, and that's like a really good run. The average run is about like seven to eight hours, which would be obviously a lot of recording, a lot of editing, things like that, because I can't upload it just straight up. I know, YouTube won't let me upload an eight hour video. Weird, right? But that is the end of the credits. Once again, thank you to anyone and everyone who has watched any amount of minutes of this Let's Play. I hope that you guys will either stick around, you know, if you've enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, comment, let me know what you want me to do differently. And once again, just thank you so much. And this is Duranathor, signing off.